Well. Just do another test run. Okay. Test speakers and it's coming from here. Built in output, internal speakers, yes. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have Dom here. Dom is my boyfriend, if you guys didn't know that. Um, but actually this is going to be a little bit different of a video than I typically post. I'm recording or filming this I am filming this podcast recording for you guys and will upload this to my YouTube channel. So it's not necessarily going to be a video in which we are talking directly to you, um, but we are just going to be talking and recording a podcast. There you go. Yep. Okay, so hopefully this all works out well. You got it? Okay. So just stay quiet until I tell you to speak. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to All In with Taylor and Vanessa. I'm Vanessa. And I'm filling in for Taylor. <laughs> I'm Dom, Vanessa's boyfriend. Yes, today I brought on a special guest, Dom. Dom is my boyfriend and we are here together today to talk about so many different deep details with you guys. I feel like I'm nervous. <laughs> oh God, this is, is this your first podcast episode like ever? Dom is an avid podcast listener. Yep. So he doesn't listen to mine, but. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I shouldn't say avid, like I listen occasionally. But... No, I think you listen quite often. Yeah. You're, you're well seasoned with podcasts, mm -hmm. for sure. In my opinion, at least, compared to an average person. But. Yeah, we are here together today, and um, actually today, you know, if you listen quite regularly to Taylor and I's podcast, we usually do our two segments, good times, bad times, and also what we are feeling grateful for this week. However, um, because Taylor and I actually just recorded a podcast episode together just three days ago, and it's only three days later, I figured, you know, it's a little too sudden to talk about highs and lows and what we're feeling grateful for. So instead, to get my man's Dom here acclimated to the podcast, I'm going to give him something that's a little bit more familiar as like a little intro to the podcast and a little segment for you all today. So, um, first of all, Dom, why don't you give us a little bit of background, maybe tell us where you're from, where you went to college, your major, and like what you do now. Kind of just give us like an elevator pitch or like a, a biography, if you will. All right, well, most of you probably know most of my background or who I am and where I'm from, but if you don't, my name is Dominic Pompa. I am from Northeastern PA, Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania to be exact. Went to Temple for two and a half years. Um, graduated and got a job with the best damn brand in the land. Yeah. Um, Red Bull North America and I work as a on-premise specialist, um, basically sales and marketing for Red Bull within on-premise accounts. On-premise accounts are event spaces, restaurants, bars, anywhere you would drink, you would buy a Red Bull and drink it on the property, on-premise. So that's my job, that's my life. I basically <laughs> live off of sugar-free Red Bull yep. vodkas. Yep. So um, that's part of your job. It's part of my job. It's the best job ever. Absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah, you got lucky. Sure you did. Did. Yeah. So um, thank you for that wonderful intro. Of course. Um, did you say Jim Thorpe or hometown? Said Jim Thorpe. Because I feel like a lot of people know where Jim Thorpe's at, or at least just know the name. If you don't, here's the best way to explain it. If you know where Wilkes Bear is or Scranton, Scranton's that area, better. and you know where Allentown is? Yeah. It's smack dab right in the middle of the two. That's so. what I say. That's my line. Your line for what? I'm smack dab right in the middle. Of what? I say I'm in between Scranton and Allentown. And you're 40 minutes west of it. <laughs> 
Jim and Thorpe, all you gotta do is just get off the turnpike and you're basically there. I guess the better way for me to put it, because I'm right off of 81 in a sense, is that I'm between Wilkes Fair and when I'm from, or when I'm telling people here in like Philly where I'm from, I usually will say Allentown because Allentown's closer to Philly, but otherwise, I think for me, it's more so Wilkes Bear and like Harrisburg that I'm smack dab in the middle because yeah. I'm right off of 81. Yeah, so that's the best way that, to put it. That makes sense, but for You're me, in the sticks. <laughs> There's no, there's no good way to explain it. Oh, you're right, I guess. There isn't really anything too fun and exciting. Yeah, I know. There. Pottsville. Pottsville, but we've got Pottsville going. For how us. many people know where Pottsville actually is? Well, there are quite a lot of people because when you do tell them about Yingling Beer and their brewery, America's oldest brewery. I feel like they say, "Here's here's my thing." They say they, they say, know where it's at. And they have no idea well, because there's there's Potts Town, there's yeah. Pottsville, there's Potts. I don't know what you're trying to say. Grove. Pots um, Grove? Yeah. Pots Grove. I feel like that's a place. Okay, um, you're making things up now. So it might be by Reading, but I could be wrong. Um, Are you talking about Pots Town? <laughs> no, I... Okay, okay. Yeah, it is Pots Town. It I is like Pots Town. Grove, too. Uh, we'll see. Yo, maybe you should look it up. You have a computer right in front of you and a phone. All right. All maybe right. another time. <laughs> Research that. See if uh, see if I'm right or if, or if I'm wrong. All right. Well, anyway, um, yeah, I'm basically in the sticks. At least Dom has a little bit of history to where he's at. So, all right. Well, we'll just get right into the little segment that I made up for Dom to get him acclimated. And uh, if you are close to Dom, you probably will hear him and his brother constantly say, "Tell me your top five." This oh my God. or that. So um, I came up with a segment called Top Five, and Dom has a really long-winded way of telling his stories. <laughs> so I I gave him some easier topics to give his top five. Um, He's from. probably still gonna get a long answer. Yeah, probably. But I, I have think... to give as much detail <laughs> and backstory as I can. Okay. That way, I'm not leaving the listener. I'm, I'm already You're... talk. I'm already in a long-winded description right here. Exactly, or... exactly. So just hold on to your seats, guys, because get ready to listen to Dom and his long Or get talks. up and walk around. <laughs> get up, because... go on a long drive. This could turn into a two hour It could. I'm fine with that. But I'm not fine with sitting in these chairs for two hours. Me, we might have to get up and walk around. We might have to. Um, Alright, let it rip. Okay, let it rip. Five. Top five. Give me your top five ice cream flavors. Okay, all right. Um, that's so difficult. <laughs> so all difficult. Right. All right, I'll, I'll keep it very basic. Um, vanilla has to be number one. Yes. Um, well, no, but okay. yeah, no, it does. Okay. Um, I say vanilla, and then I'm gonna go with Ming chocolate chip. Ooh. Ming chocolate chip. Turkey Hill. Okay, Turkey Hill. Yes, but with. Milk. Milk. Yep. You get it in a little cup. Oh. You put it like halfway, mint chocolate chip, and then you put probably equal parts milk in. Yeah. You don't want the milk to go over top of the <laughs> mint chocolate chip because then you're absolutely ruining the thing and you're going to turn it into soup. You just want the milk to get a little hard and yes. kind of freeze a little bit. No, the ice cream to get a little hard and freeze, not the milk. The ice cream does that. I would say the milk does it because it's a liquid. Mm, okay. All right, anyway, continue on. Also, wait, first of all, this is when I found out- that Top two favorite ice cream flavors. Oh, hold on. When I found out, I have to interrupt this discussion to say something very important. When I found out that Dominic Papa eats mint chocolate ice cream with the Turkey Hill brand, by the way, with milk, you best believe I knew he was the one because any other time I've ever told someone that I eat ice cream with milk, especially mint chocolate chip, grew up on that shit, everyone would be like, well, why would you ever put milk in your ice cream? Because, you know, it's made out of milk. Yeah, so, that's, that's why they go together. Yeah, it's, it's so because good. because it's milk and milk. It's just undoubtedly amazing. Okay, continue on. There's people Sorry. out there that just don't think. Um, yeah, no. 
All right, so well, I have vanilla and then chocolate chip. I'm not a huge ice cream guy. Usually, I go for something pretty obscure. Just tell us. You know, I've made you eat ice cream how many times? I know what your flavors are. I don't think you do. <laughs> I, I would actually like to hear you say my top five, and then okay. I can tell you whether or not. So right. if I'm going to continue on with this, I don't know. Top five is a little complicated for you. However, just, just I keep know, giving me top fives. I I'm know not... that Speculos would be in there. Yeah, Speculos, but how many people are going to know about Speculos? Who cares? If we go it's down that hole, then I can do a top five probably. But probably just it's top your five. top five. I would name some Peppy's flavors that okay. don't exist Okay, alright. If, that, if that's the case, then alright, we're going to do it. Tell so, me your top five. Um, Avalon, in Avalon, there's a place called Sunday Best. Um, and I get the Avalon mud there. Avalon mud is like vanilla ice cream. Yes. With chocolate shavings. And some other shavings. I think there's some sort of caramel in there yeah. or something along the lines yeah. of that. It's absolutely amazing. Um, if we're doing that, that's like, that's number one, basically. If we're gonna go in down a rabbit hole of yes. specific places. Yeah. Speculos comes in at a close to RIP little babies in Philadelphia. Um, absolutely love Speculos. I used to get it by the pint and just devour it. Basically like Ben and Jerry's, but it was so much better than Ben and Jerry's. Three, I'm gonna say is, this is a, this is gonna be controversial because a lot of people okay. have their set Ben and Jerry's flavors. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And this yeah. is not one says. that people typically like. Can I say it? Can yeah. I guess it? Chocolate Cherry Garcia, whatever yes. it's called. Cherry Garcia. Ch cherry Garcia. It's cherry ice cream, I think, or like cherry flavored in yeah. a sense, um, but it's not really overpowering. Then there's cherries in it, chocolate, and that might be it, honestly. So. And that's amazing. Um, top, what are we at, three now? <laughs> yeah. um, and then just for the sake of speeding things up, I'll say vanilla and make chocolate chip. There you go. Those, those are. Thing. It has to be a good vanilla too. It can't yeah. just be some shit vanilla that I get on the side of the road like some Dairy Queen or something no. like that. Oh god, no. Hell no. Vanilla is very, like, it has to be good. Yeah. Very specific. Okay, next top five. Fruits. Fruits? I think I change my mind on this every single day. And Max and I may have physically fought over this conversation I before. think you guys have. Um... Because your number one is like, how he always thinks, how can that be number one? I don't even remember what my number one is. I thought it was grapes. Uh, grapes, no, grapes have Grape fallen. Grapefruits. Okay, so grapefruit is my favorite fruit, which now that I'm saying out loud, is probably not even true. I'm gonna go with pineapple as my favorite fruit. Um, I can't put it in a top five order, so I'm gonna go pineapple, mango, Banana, honey crisp apple, mm. and grapes. I'm leaving, I left grapefruit off the list, which is like my favorite fruit. Absolutely love cherries. Um, what else we got? Strawberries are good, but they're super overrated. Blackberries are really good. I, if I could put it, a, uh, what would it be, like the bottom five? Yeah. Like the worst fruits, um, raspberries. Yeah. I hate them. Yeah, they're not that they're great. They're terrible. They, like the texture of them, they have like, they're growing hair or some shit on them. <laughs> I don't, I don't like them at all. Please leave them out of my stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, I, that's what I'll say. Okay. So I don't even remember what I said. Pineapple, mango, banana, honey crisp apple. Grapes. Grapes. Those are my those are my favorite ones to eat. At the moment, this is subject moment, to change. This could change within by the time we're done with this episode. Yes. All right. Next top five. Last top five. Candies. You are a big big candy dude. Give it to me. Um. Top five Come candies. Come on. Um. Okay. 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 What are they called? What are the watermelons? Oh, Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Watermelons. Um, I thought you and Max thought about that and said that you liked uh, like actual Sour Patch Kids. I do like the Sour Patch Kids, but 
if I'm being a realist, Sour Patch Watermelons are the GOAT. Okay. Um, Starburst. Mm -hmm. If you know, oh. if you know me, you know why I said Starburst. <laughs> yeah. Um, Can I say another one? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, sour Gummy Worms. Sour Gummy Worms. Yep. It basically, if it's sour, I'm gonna I'm gonna devour it. Yeah. Um, warheads. Warheads. But I don't know if I could. I like them a lot, but I don't know if I could put yeah. them in my top five. Okay. Just because there's other ones that I feel like I'd rather eat. I really like Swedish Fish. Yeah, it's really good. Um, a lollipop, like a like a dum a dum. blue dum dum, mm -hmm. or like some obscure dum dum is really good too. Yeah. Um. Let's see, Grape Jolly Ranchers. Mm, grape, yes. I knew I was picking you for the right reason. Um, sweet, did I say sweet fish? Yeah. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, mostly sour stuff. Okay, that was probably like eight, but there you go. That's, yeah, that's I can't good. fit everything into no, a top five. That's good, that's good. This is like a quicker top five, but if it was you and Max talking, you guys would be talking about it for over an we hour. Went, yeah, we, we would lose people's attention. Yeah. Or we would keep their attention because we would just fight and it would be... Oh yeah, for sure. Content driven. It would be content driven, for sure. All right, so now let's just move right in to the meat of this episode. I don't even know what I could technically call this episode yet, but we're just basically gonna be telling you guys a little bit about ourselves, our relationship, and then we're going to answer some questions that I came up with and that you guys sent me via Instagram DMs. So, and there, I checked some of them, some of them are pretty good, and we might just expose each other a lot this episode, which is totally fine, keeps things interesting. All right, so the first thing that we are going to expose each other with, kind of, is how we met. And I think the best way to go <laughs> about this would be to tell it from each other's point of view. So, Dom, I'll let Let's you... Let's do rock, paper, scissors. Okay, to see who is going to go first. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Woo! All right, so you pick. Okay. I'll go first. Yeah. All right. Um, Did you want me to go first? No, no, it, it was just whoever... Um, Okay. Let's go. Uh, okay, so how we met. I should get technical with this or just keep it kind Keep of... it very vague, but when it needs to be technical, like tell them the technical things. Okay. Because this so, could just be a whole long podcast episode of its own. All right. Um, when we officially met, like when I found, when I remember hearing her name, and like actually putting a name to her face was when we were actually on a subway heading to um, the river rink. Yeah. What the hell is it called? The Penn's Landing. Yes. We were going to Penn's Landing um, for an ice skating social uh, for AMA, which is the American Marketing Association. If you know us, we're both part of that. It's where we met. Yeah. Um, so we. Uh, we were there and I remember one of our mutual friends that was there introduced us to each other. Mm -hmm. And um, shout out Alec. Yeah, I can't and, believe it. Uh, Alec was the one who. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we meet there on the on the subway and then, you know, we get off and um, she'll probably deny all of this. <laughs> but we get there and she was just some she was just some girl that was just there she ha I had been in AMA this is my first year at Temple so I came in I was a bit older and she was into older guys and I um we were putting our skates on right mind you she doesn't know me I said that about four times now and um I'm putting my skates on and she says hey Dom like do you need do you need a locker to put your boots in? Okay. And I was like, who's this chick? And why is she so into me? So I was like, yeah, here. So I so give her my boots. So full of yourself. So I give her my boots and um, we start skating and we skated around the thing talking for about two hours. Um, 
and then we left and not much else happened after that and then we ran into each other another time and you were like getting ready to go to a, a conference and we like she followed me on instagram and then we um we started kind of just dming each other and then it just took off from there and we started texting and stuff she sent me her number so um i want to hear what what she has to say what her side of the story is because okay. that is a fact that will look right into that camera right there all right Michelle. my whole point of view from how we met was okay first of all wait january or february it was february okay february if okay. i assume i know what you're gonna say yes february 2018 we had the mutual friend um from ama um i didn't know really anyone else going to the social and alec was my only friend so i texted him and said if you like asked if he was going so we met up there but alec and dom knew each other and were there as well great i was really only talking to alec at this point didn't really know dom i was talking to everyone else go to the river rink for this AMA social and it was like well into the social because I was hanging out with other people and skating around with other people but it wasn't until like I don't know Dom and I linked up then somehow I think it was like I was literally at the entrance of the like rink itself and we were just skate we ended up just skating around together and that's like the first initial time that we met. Yes, I guess I did do the locker thing, but literally, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't thinking anything about, oh, this guy is cute. I'm into him because I wasn't. But when we started hanging out and doing the little skating thing, I got to know him a lot more. Found out he's from nearby my area. We know a lot of the same people, and he basically is into everything that I'm into, and he's older, more mature, well-dressed. He was the whole package. However, I was not interested in him at this moment in time, okay? I'm just telling you guys this for context. And I will admit, at this time in my life, I didn't like people, but I certainly was a hardcore flirt, and that was just something about my personality. I guess I could have led people on. <laughs> she she can deny it and put it out. All right, it. I am not lying because I would. My friends can back me up on this because it truly wasn't an, until a certain specific point where I do remember actually like falling for you, quote unquote. Okay, um, I kind of want to give more details about like going into the stages of our like leading up to us dating. So. That was kind of how we met, but now going into, yeah, we met, we texted, blah, 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 like got to know each other. He sent me all this music, tried to get me to like him, hated everything <laughs> he ended up sending me. She hated it at the point, yeah. and now she listens to it yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, yes, uh, okay, so I was a freshman, this was, Freshman spring semester of 2018, great. That summer, um, well, leading up to that summer, Dom and I ended up hanging out like a little bit here and there. Um, and then at the end of the semester, before I left to go study abroad in Rome, we went out to eat together. I didn't think it was a date, he did. Uh, I just wanted to go hang out and because I liked hanging out with him. And we went to this place together. Really great time, whatever. We get done eating, great. I leave, I go to Rome, Italy for six weeks. Throughout that six weeks, really wasn't paying much attention to him. I was texting him here and there. But my gosh, it was at this point in time when he texted me one day and said, when you get back from Italy, I am taking you to this restaurant. And I don't know what else you said, but you were very forward about your message. And I was very scared about that message and was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want anything to do with this guy. He is making me like feel like I need to be on a date with him and I don't like being controlled by someone. <laughs> so um, 
ironic because now I wish he was more like that guy, <laughs> but... Um, he caused the animal that I am now. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So, did that, was totally turned off from that, and even told my roommate, Taylor, which is, she's the other host of this podcast, um, told her about that and really didn't talk to him after that then. So it wasn't until August when we got back to school that we started hanging out again. He invited me to some of his parties and, you know, I would come, show up, leave, and that was it. It was very surface level. Well, then it came to be like November. I don't know what happened. Did you take me on the date first? Or no, no, you didn't take me on a date. <laughs> I turned you off from taking you on a date. Yeah. How many times I had to fucking okay. ask you? Okay. Wait, I remember. I was working at Free People at this time, and I think you asked if I wanted to go to Lolita. You asked if I wanted to go to Lolita on a Wednesday night, and I had work that day. I was literally getting ready to leave for work, and he texted me, Do you want to go to dinner tonight at Lolita? And I was like, If you guys don't know, Lolita is a nice restaurant in Philly. And. I was like, no, I do not want to go. I am like stressed out because I've got to go to work. And then like, you know, I just don't want to go to Lolita. That's like too much right now. So went to work, whatever. I said, I won't go to Lolita with you, but I will go to Sweet Green with you. I'll grab Sweet Green. I'll fill this guy's heart up with some warmth and we'll go to Sweet Green together. So we went to Sweet Green together after I got done work. He like walked by as I was just getting off and I was like, I don't know. That's kind of the moment where I was like, hmm, maybe I do feel something for this kid. We go to Sweet Green, and I was just, we were talking, and then the more that we talked, the more that I just saw that we had so much in common, which I got this feeling that I've never got with somebody else before. I just connected with him so, so much. So, Get done that, whatever. This is right before my birthday. So I have this whole big birthday dinner planned with all of my girlfriends. And they're all joking around with me saying, oh, like you like Dom, don't you? Because I think I was talking a little bit more about Dom to my friends then and they kind of like saw that switch because I had been like bashing him before and now all of a sudden I was like talking more kindly about him. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Um, I, I'm going to tell my side of the story. Okay. <laughs> okay. So go on. So then my side of the story is the truth. You're leaving it's months the... and months of stuff out. Okay, whatever. But go on. Whatever. Okay, so this is just how I You're making it seem like I was just stalking you and we never spoke to, get, spoke to each other. That wasn't the case. Trust me, I know you weren't stalking me. I know you were with other people. <laughs> Not that. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, God. Go okay. on. Just okay. go on. Okay, I'll finish really quick. So, after that point, um, it was then the night that we all went to eat with the girls for my birthday, and they were kind of like harassing me about saying that I like Dom, don't I? And I was like, no, like I don't. I think I was in denial at this point then, because I think that's once they She's started been, to repeat. She it, was for months before that. No, I was not. Okay, you would think some other things, and just, just, I know just, just finish. Okay. Go on. Okay, so they kind of put it in my head. Then I'd like to think like they put it in my head because it really triggered me actually really liking him. So after that point, then great Thanksgiving break, go home, and uh, yeah, then I came back early from Thanksgiving break. He was there. We hung out, and that's kind of like the start of when we decided that we wanted to date I guess it wasn't like anything super formal we just decided that we should start dating and that was early December yes so so okay yeah let's go back to um, before you left for mm -hmm. Italy now keep in mind we typically okay so typically if you are some like we're not we weren't super close we weren't really friends um, we were kind of just getting to know each other. Oh, I know the story that you're gonna tell. And <laughs> so after, like we were still at AMA and we would see each other every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, mm -hmm. right? So it wasn't like we just didn't see each other. We saw each other three days a week, most of the time. Sometimes I wouldn't yeah. show up, sometimes she wouldn't show up. We would usually text each other to see if we would be going. Yes, so. I think that was in the fall semester though. It was not the fall semester. 
it, it happened more in the fall semester, but yeah, I would also stalk you on Snapchat because I didn't have your location at this point to see if you were up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym for six. <laughs> so there you so go. So I think that started to like slowly. So yeah, that was like more towards when we started dating. Okay. Anyway. But um, I remember. So before we formally met, we saw each other in the gym multiple times, um, and yeah. I'm a. I'm a douche sometimes, I can be. <laughs> and I didn't give her the time of day in a sense. Like, yeah, I, I know. like I knew who she was and like I was very, I was attracted to her, but I was like, I'm not gonna make it known that I'm attracted to you. I'm not gonna be super forward. Yeah. So um, like I took notice of her and then we met. And then after that, like, got her number and we started talking to each other more and more. And um, from there, we then um, started to communicate about going to AMA or after AMA, we would go get coffee or something yeah. somewhere. Yeah. So I remember the one time where, you know, we were talking and she came up to me before AMA, I think, and was like, hey, do you want to go to La Cologne? Yeah, it was a rainy day. And do some work. So I was like, um, yeah, definitely. So we went, um, did some work. She drove me over there, and we hung out, and then came back, and then there was multiple times where we would meet up on campus and go to go get like pizza, or go get Honey Grow, or do this and do that. And it happened multiple times. So it wasn't like I just reached out to her one day and was like, we're going to... Yeah, yeah, no. What's it called? Lolita. No, before that. Oh, Sweet Green? No, before that. <laughs> the, wait, before you went to Italy. Oh, Soraya. Soraya. It wasn't like, hey, like we're going Soraya's to Soraya before really you nice leave. a really nice restaurant too, if you guys didn't know. Yeah, like it, 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 what I'm saying is I wasn't just like out of the blue. No. Hey, we're going to this place. You're right. And you're coming. You're right. Before you go to Italy. And so my friends knew my feelings for her. And they were telling me, dude, you have to tell her how you feel. Like, you have to, like, ask her out. You have to go do this, do that. So, I didn't tell her. Because I knew how she felt. And she would have been completely spooked. So, I, I just let it go. I was like, I I'm, I'm going to play a very, very, very slow game. Um, Which was good. Because another thing that you guys need to know about me is that I am... I will say like I am very like extremely hard to get. I don't just give in to any sort of like bullshit easily. Like it's very hard to actually attract me in a way that makes me interested enough to date you. And I'm like very hard to get in that sense. Like I, I put up my guard well because I don't like want to mess around with like Play. I don't want to like date anyone or get serious with anyone if I don't think it's going to last long term. You <laughs> gotta play small ball. Can't swing for the fucking fences here. No, okay, so continue with your So story. then she, I remember I, I was like conflicted on whether or not I wanted to tell her how I felt before she went to Italy. I remember like talking to my mom about her and all this different stuff. And when my mom saw her, I showed my mom her Instagram. My mom's like, how old is this woman? She said, how old is this woman? And I was like, mom, she's 20 years old. I was 21 at the time. Um, what, wait? Uh, I think I was 19. Were you 19? Yeah, I was 19 when I went to Italy. Oh yeah, you were 19. All right, so she was 19, I was 21. Yeah, we're two years apart. Yeah. Um, and she, so then she leaves for Italy and we, talked a little bit back and forth like we would snapchat and we would talk and she was she was sending me pictures for her to post on instagram so don't make it she's making it seem like oh this guy just texted me out of the blue she was she was sending me stuff for her to post on her instagram because he was my best guy friend like i literally looked at him like my best guy friend yes. like my dude like he was my bro yeah okay that's like my personality too so I think it was when she came back. Was it when, was when you came back or when you left before you left that we went to the Phillies game? Uh, before we, before I left, it was in April of. So before before she left, she, she I remember her texting me and saying like, "Hey, um, 
I have a few friends that want to go to a Phillies game tonight. Are you down? Like, do you want to bring some of your friends? And I was like, It was also yeah, a Phillies sure. game time Z concert. <laughs> Phillies game time Z concert. Yeah. By Z concert. Um, God, here's the I show up at the subway, Cecil B. Moore and Broad, and she has one friend with her. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Who, where are all your friends? Like, I thought m more of your friends were coming. No. I brought some of my friends as well. Yeah. So my friends met Vanessa and her one friend. Elda. Elda. Yeah. So that's where I got to know Elda and whatever. So we go to the concert, Phillies game, both, whatever the hell it is, have fun, leave, nothing. We went to parties together. Mm -hmm. yeah, where we talked to each other and we would go out to parties together. So, I'm filling in a lot of these gaps that she was <laughs> creating, making me seem like some creep. No, you, no, okay, I know you're not. Creep. And, so, she gets back, right? And when she was put off by my- Your text. By, her, by my text. Your very forward text. I was very put off by the way she responded because she didn't respond to me in For... like a timely manner. No, I didn't respond for like over a day. I remember I was avoiding it at all costs. And I was like, okay, this girl oh, wow. isn't into me or yeah. is playing some sort of game. So I just stopped. I was like, I'm, I'm done with it. Like, I don't care anymore. Yeah. Cause I put in a lot of time and effort and wasn't getting like anything in return. Yeah. So I was like, I felt disrespected. So I was like, okay, I don't care anymore. And then I, led a bit of a degenerate life for a little bit. <laughs> and um, maybe it wasn't the best person. Um, then from there, um, I remember we like, we saw each other a few times, we weren't really talking. And then she started asking me if I was going to AMA again. And like we would see each other in the gym. Yeah. So that then kind of- This is back in August then. Yeah, then when I started to see her more, we would talk more and then she started to come to some of my parties that I would have in my house. And she would, here's the problem that she had when she would show up to the parties. Hmm. She would show up at like 8 30, 9 o'clock. Yeah. And if you're in college and you go to a party, everyone shows up like past 11 o'clock. So she was there like super early. Like we were cleaning up. We were like sitting on the, we weren't even cleaning up yet. Like we were sitting on the couch. And like she would walk in and then we'd be like, what the fuck are you doing here so early? And then- I told you I was coming over. It was yes, nice. but then you would, you would have this thought that nobody was there. And then she'd be like, all right, well, I'm kind of bored. I'm going to go home because Vanessa goes to bed at like 8.30. So she would leave and then everyone else would show up. So they'd be like, some people would be like, oh, like where's Vanessa? Or, cause they kind of knew that I kept everyone on their toes. We were a bit of a thing. No, like no matter what she says. Everyone in AMA for sure. Yeah, they like they knew we were th like there was yeah. something more than just friends. Um, and then yeah, and then it kind of just turned into a snowball effect, and I started to give in a little. She bit. gave in, and then she actually asked me if. Yeah. Because that's if how we, I like to be if in control. We should, should have dated. So I like to be in control, and like I said, I really played that one out to see if like I would actually really like him. So, and if the guy kept coming back, and I was thinking about him, then I guess it was meant to be. So here we are today. Play the game, boys. If you want. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Don't give up. That's all I've gotta Don't say. But up. if a girl, I was never being a straight bitch. I never was a straight bitch. No. No, I would never ever do that to someone. When you literally said that about Lolita though, that really threw me off. So I did not respond for a few days, which would typically never be like me, but I didn't know how to respond and I was really scared. So, um, yeah, but I never was a bitch. So if the if a girl is being a bitch, don't keep trying for her because that's just not right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, at least I don't think I was, but all right.
Wow, so long and winded. Now we're gonna go into the next question, but this one I want to be like pretty quick fire. All right. So, what was the first impression of each other? I'll start off because you kind of already mentioned in a kind of way. Uh, the first time I actually ever saw Dom with at, without like knowing who he was was at the gym. And I remember this distinct time when he was just coming into the gym and I was coming out of the gym or like getting ready to leave. And he put all this stuff in the locker and was walking straight past me, nobody around us, just us two. He had on these short shorts, still lives the same lifestyle today, short shorts, and he looked like a complete asshole like such a douchebag such a bitch like what resting bitch face like no smile smirk whatever and i was looking at him because not that i was like attracted but like i'm usually a nice person and then i like make eye contact with people and like you know if i'm gonna make eye contact with them and it's just us two walking past each other i'm not gonna like look straight ahead as if you don't exist like he did with me so that was my first impression of you before I actually knew you then. And I didn't realize that was you until later down the road. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I said um, earlier, like 20 minutes ago, I can be a douche. <laughs> and mind you, I think um, this is, I, I'm feel very braggadocious saying this. Okay. But I do think I'm one of like, the kindest people that you could meet. Yeah. Um, I'm very nice. My face does not sure. represent who I am because I I am very like I have a resting bitch face like a hundred percent. A lot of people say like they're intimidated to talk to me. Yeah, you're intimidated Be because like you look it because my face or like the expressions I make. I, I don't know what it is, but I, I don't know. I try to be nice to everyone, but I knew exactly what I was doing when she was talking about that moment. Oh, you do know what you were doing. I did it hundred percent on purpose. Okay. So what was your fresh, first, first impression? impression okay. Me. So now I'm going to flip the script here. First impression that I had when I met her, when I actually like met her and spoke to her, at the AMA thing was this is going to be my girlfriend at some point. Love at first sight. Wow. Fell hard for Tears her right away. Tears coming out of my eyes. And I'm not kidding. Like I, I remember we were like skating around and I was like this, I'm going to manifest this in some way that this is, she's going to be my girlfriend. Aww. Swear to God. I love you. Oh, I love you too. And, um, I don't know, I feel like I work really hard at the things that I really want. Yeah. And like I said before, work hard for it, you're gonna get it, mm -hmm. or you might get it, I don't know, maybe you fail, whatever. Yeah. Fail multiple times, at one point you're gonna succeed. Yes. Um, and that's how it's been with my education, that's how it's been with my job. job that's how it's been with my girlfriend so like We're very much like that what in the same, we are we have a similar mindset like yeah that. yep gotta you have to fail multiple times before you're gonna succeed yes. so that was my first impression of vanessa yeah and I, i'll quickly say when i officially met dom that night too my first impression of him was like i said just he was like the most awesome person and he he and I just got along and had so much in common more than any other like guy I've ever met before like we had a lot more in common than you probably could think mm -hmm. like just in our manners and how we're talking to each other everything like that yeah yeah okay great uh next question this could be quick I guess too Whatever. You're smiling. Her. She's smiling while she's saying this. So. What's the most annoying thing about each other? Now oh. we're getting into the nitty gritty details, the juicy things, the things you guys want to know. Um, you can go first, yeah. Okay, so 
We actually, we like thought about this two weeks ago. Um, I am someone who... I don't think that was a fight either. No. It was but a like, tiff. We've never gotten in a fight. No, we've never been in a fight. No. It was just a, like a tiff and a like talk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, it, it, it's something that I feel very strongly about mm -hmm. that she's the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. I am not somebody who sets out their... Like a planner. Like, I, I'm not a planner. Yeah. I, because if I plan something, I'm, I'm going to deviate it. Deviate from it in some way or fashion. Mm -hmm. Like I, it's just guaranteed it's going to happen and that's why I don't plan anything. If I need something very specific to be planned, then I do it. But I I just improvise, everything's impromptu. I like to just fly by the seat of my pants as they yeah. say. Yeah. And that that's just how I function and it's if I create some sort of plan I get very stressed out and it, mm -hmm. it just bothers me. Like I just can't do it. Yeah. Vanessa is the complete opposite. <laughs> she is scheduling <laughs> out her breakfast. She's scheduling when she's gonna go to the bathroom. <gasps> Stop it! Don't you sound like everyone who makes a dick out of me for everything? That is what she does. <laughs> she's scheduling when she's gonna work out, which that that could be something she fits into her schedule. But there's some things I'm just like, <laughs> what? Are you scheduling that out for? Like just make a mental note of it and no. go on your way. But she can't do that. No. So I like to see things in front of me. Everything. Yes. Okay. Um, so what I'm trying to say is she always wants some sort of plan. Mm -hmm. And I like I, to look forward to things. She likes right? to look forward to things, yes. Yeah. I, on the other hand, don't. Yeah. So like I'm not in this this is my character flaw when it comes to our relationship. I am not the best planner. I don't, I, I, I'm not creative enough to, I think I am creative enough. I was gonna but, say, don't say it like that. No, I know. But I, I don't like plan stuff in uh, like in advance. Like, yeah. because one. That's just not how you are. She doesn't tell me <laughs> what she wants. And she has a plan. So the thing is, she has a plan, but she won't tell me what she wants. I'm someone who I want you to make the decision for me, and I'll be happy with whatever you choose. She does not understand that in a sense, <laughs> where I tell her, you make a plan, we'll, we'll do it. I'll do whatever you want me to do, I will do it. Yeah. She doesn't listen, because she wants me to yeah. make a plan. And no, I, I don't want cannot you to make a plan. Do... I want you to like make the decision sometimes because like yes, I'll always have a backup plan, but at the same time I'm like, well no, like I'm afraid that you're not telling me the truth if you don't want to do something or not. So that's why I always ask you, I'm like, well what do you want to do? Here's but the thing. I know you won't tell me. I'm not gonna tell her, I'll never tell her. Because <laughs> she, I here's how I look at it. I will be much more satisfied doing what she wants to do mm -hmm. rather than her being satisfied and doing what I want to do. Aww, so like that's so mean. What? It, I'm not trying to make it sound mean. It's just that I'm very I can I can do whatever. Yeah. I can be happy doing whatever. You are a bit <laughs> picky harder to, and harder to, please. harder to please and that's just That's the way I am, I guess. The truth. So yeah. like if we're going out to a restaurant and we have like five restaurants to choose from and like they start getting whittled down because one place doesn't have a reservation, another place yeah, doesn't. Oh my god, that's my pet peeve. They don't have like this or that. So we're down to like two or three now. Yeah. Right? And we are looking at multiple places and I'm just telling her pick what you want to do. Like pick, pick where you want to go because no matter what, I'll be fine with it. Because if it were me, I would go somewhere that has like meat and steaks and bread, yeah, like yeah. something that is very hearty and full. She doesn't eat that kind of stuff. So I want her to make the decision and say, hey, we're gonna go here or we're gonna go yeah. here. Well, a few weekends ago, we went to this place and I was like, 
do you want to go here? And she's like, oh, I don't know. So we walked around the block multiple times. We went to different places. And I, if it was, if it was up to me, if it was something that, okay, how am I trying to say this? If I didn't want it to bother me, yeah, I'm not even making sense there. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm basically talking about old San Juan. Yeah. We went there and all I wanted her to say was, no, I don't want to go here. Yeah. And she didn't say it. So we went and we exhausted all of our other options. And then we went back to this place and we got a table and I could visibly tell, or I could tell she was visibly upset <laughs> by having to go to this place. I'm someone, I love Puerto Rican food. Mm -hmm. She necessarily doesn't. It's not that I don't, it's just like, yeah, it's not my first choice. I it's guess. not her first choice. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Yeah. So, um, we went to this place and she, we're walking all over the place. Yeah. We exhausted all our options. Like I said, we finally, this is basically our last option. There may have been one other place we could have went to, or we could have waited to eat. She didn't tell me. And then we got into this tiff where like, you have to tell me what you want because mm -hmm. I'm okay with doing whatever. whatever. Yeah, that's so my, doesn't, I don't want to make her sound like no, she's... No, but that's just my tragic downfall. I just like having a plan because I don't like when things like don't go to plan then or when like you're in a pickle. So that's just like my tragic flaw. Like it's just I need to understand like you're, you... Other than that, she's you, perfect. You, <laughs> you'll be happy with whatever and... Or yeah, you'll be happy with whatever and... Like Put something if in front you, of me, I'm gonna eat. If you wanna go somewhere, like and I can tell on your face you wanna go there, like I should be like down. Because we exhausted all of our other options and couldn't go somewhere like with more potential. The thing is, if I want to go somewhere, you'll tell me. I will tell you. Okay. Alright. It's Thank not like oh I, and if I don't want to go to the place, yeah. I might tell you. Yes. But I'm most likely gonna put up with it and I'll I'll be okay right. with it. Not put up with it, I'll just be okay with it. Yeah. Going wherever. So, lay into me. Let me hear it. Alright. The most annoying thing about you, honey. <laughs> I don't know. Um, aside from that, we are just complete opposites in the sense of cleanliness. <laughs> which I will just live with. I will just live with that. Um, I can take that. But, you... Don't put down your phone. Oh, yeah. When, I feel like in a situation, like if we're out to dinner, like he'll pick up his phone. Like I totally am not a Nazi with like not being on your phone when we're together. But see, <laughs> I wanted us to take our love languages quiz so that we can understand each other a little bit more. My number one is quality time. And when like we're having a quality time together, I like to have quality time quality time together so if like we're at a dinner if like we're just like waiting around and like we both go on our phones like cool well, uh, that's, my, just... that's my biggest pet peeve it's like if we're somewhere and like we're spending quality time together and it's like not the time and place to be on your phone then like you know that's when I get slightly annoyed you know but I don't ever say anything because not to the point of like being like oh my god this actually pisses me off and it doesn't happen like all the time that it's an actual like that's an actual issue because it's not mm -hmm. but that's like i think the biggest annoying. i do have a huge problem with being on my phone yeah and like your thing is too like i mean i'm sure this is with a lot of people if you're even just checking it really quick you'll get so sidetracked easily that you'll forget you'll you'll forget like why you were on your phone or something and then you'll like dive into an app or whatever and then be like oh shit I forgot what I was completely yeah, doing. Um, a lot of the time, people are talking to me, and You're so popular. <laughs> no, I'm not saying on the on the well, people okay, are talking okay. to me on the phone, yeah, yeah. but people will be talking to me in person while I'm on my phone. Oh yeah, yeah. And I have this thing. It's just this. It's like this selective, passive, hearing, basically listening in a sense. Yeah. Where like someone's talking and it's going in one ear and right out the other, and yes. I'm kind of just like, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I notice it when I like watch her vlogs sometimes, um, 
and it, the other problem is I'm, I like to view myself as a good listener or like a good soundboard in a sense where like someone can just talk at me and I will be able to give you advice or give something back. Yeah. But my problem is if I'm not in tune with your story, don't ask me questions on what your story was about because I'm not going to be able to answer a single question. Yeah. Because I just probably wasn't listening at all. Yeah. And that is that that is a huge problem of mine. Yeah, your mother and I pick that out all the time. And like I'll make a dick out of him sometimes and I'll just if, like maybe not if we're out to dinner, but like if he's on his phone and I'm talking to him, trying to tell him a story or whatever or something that's like happening, he'll be on his phone and then I'll kind of like realize that he's really out of it and not in the zone and then I'll just stop talking and then wait for him to like notice that I've stopped talking. No, you go, you're not even listening to me, are you? Oh yeah, I do that too. But like I stop and I'm like, you're not even listening to me, are you? So yeah, I do do that. <laughs> and I go, yeah, yeah, I was listening, what did you just yeah, say? Yeah, okay. Yeah, your mom and I pick that out all the time. Yeah, I think the more so, the part that gets me more annoyed more than anything if like at any point, it's just like if we're like having quality time together at like a restaurant or out and about or that's what it's like that's what annoys me most but yeah otherwise you're perfect all right now to pick it up from that low what's the thing you love most about each other can i go first mm -hmm. um there's many things that i love about dominic however i love his sense of humor and I don't like I don't want to sound cliche with that but I'm a very like I can joke around and I joke around a lot and I'm weird and I like to act up a lot so the fact that he's the same way and like can crack jokes and like make me laugh at any point in time like that's like what truly makes me happiest and like what I love about him is that like he's not super serious and you know he can be playful and crack a joke even mm -hmm. in like some of the darkest times yeah like you can still make light out of a situation and I really like that about you so yeah um there's a lot of things I could say about this little one over here <laughs> um but like so going back to like a first impression mm -hmm. or one of the first things I really noticed before we started dating was how independent and strong she is and how mm -hmm. driven she is. So like that was something that I think we had this, there, it, it was basically mutual mm -hmm. amongst both of us where I'm a very driven yeah, person. That's also a huge turn on for me. I've seen a lot of people in my life, like guys that are just not driven at all and it's such a turn off. Yeah. And you certainly are as well. Yeah. Um, and like if there's ever something that's a, a hindrance to her life, it's kind of just like she cuts it, she cuts it out and um, basically just creates some sort of pathway that is going to lead her to success and I've watched her grow a lot as a young professional mm -hmm. where it's been inspiring to me to kind of also want to grow so um yeah I would say aside from being the cliche of <laughs> of being like beautiful and funny Aww. and smart it's how independent and how driven she is mm -hmm. with everything that she does in her life all encompassing there's, of course there's tears coming out of my eyes yeah the one thing i wasn't gonna say anything but the one thing was like, i'm gonna try and make her cry on this, <laughs> this episode um, thanks but yes i love her to death Okay, we got favorite date night. Who's more annoying to sleep with, like snoring and stuff like that? If you are in an argument, do you ever go to bed mad at each other? Better cook? Who would your dream vacation be? Who's the funnier drunk? Favorite thing about each other's style? Just Who's the funnier drunk? 
I don't even get drunk. She doesn't get drunk. And if you've ever been, if you ever see me drunk, it's a, it's a different, it's a different side thing. of me. It's like a Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing. Yeah. Where like, I feel like I can be very, like, like we were saying before where I'm like, uh, hard to approach. Yeah. I'm kind of, uh, I view myself as stoic in a yeah. sense. And I feel like when I am drunk, it's just like, I'm trying to make everyone laugh by doing the dumbest shit. Um, I turn into this like, love bug, if you will. Yeah. I'm trying to love everyone. Yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go up and down. And the first one I read okay. is what we're gonna pick. Favorite date night. All right, do you wanna do that one? Favorite date night? I. What's our favorite date night? Um, they, they, we've been on so many dates. Yeah. That it's, it's almost hard to say. To be, I mean like, I'm not gonna call up a past one, but I will say that my like, fa I think it's like, Overall, what is your type of, like, what's your favorite type of date night? Oh. Not like, maybe the ones we've been Stay on in the home, past. You cooking, me playing PlayStation. <laughs> okay. Um, not mine, but Just I mine. genuinely like. I love going out to eat with Dom. Yeah. Um, like, just because I think we both like going out to eat and trying new places. We're foodies. We're foodies for sure, so. We also, we, anytime there's a chance to dress up. Yeah. It, we do it. And yeah. it's, it, that's even if we're just gonna go I think that's, walk down the street. Yeah, that's like kind of just part of our entire relationship as a whole. And like, sorry, we aren't that typical. No, I wouldn't say it's even typical. We aren't some like over glamorous, glamorized couple in the sense of like, we do super extra things together. Yeah. Maybe some people think we do, but we don't go on like picnics or walks to the park. Like we never did that. If we went on a date, it was always going somewhere to eat together. Typically a part of that is just getting dressed up and like kind of looking our best, um, Sunday's best. And then typically, I'm usually the one that's the instigator for getting some sort of dessert after, so. Typically, always. 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 So, so, usually going out to eat and then getting food, or getting a dessert after that, and that's literally my perfect date night, and. Yeah, I could say the same. Yeah, um, I don't know. That. I don't like anything really extravagant. No. Um, like, I would call, like, go, and for us, like, going on a walk, like, that's not a date. Yeah. I'm also, it, it, to me, it's more so like, I'm very indulgent in the food aspect yeah. and like, I'll, I'll pay a lot of money to so eat I. really good food. Yeah. And trust me guys, I don't let him, like, if you can agree, like, I'm not one to let you never do. I want you to pay for everything. Oh no. Yeah. Pay. That's, um, that's another reason why I love her is because yeah. we do split. A we, lot of we it. split or we go off and on like who's paying what. Yeah. Like we don't take take like we don't track who's paying for what, no. but we do pretty evenly divide. It's either that or we like if we're going if we're going somewhere, yeah. she'll she'll drive or she'll pay for the Ubers. Yeah. Or something along the lines of that. Or like say she pays for the dinner. I'll pay for the Ubers and the dessert that we get after that. Yeah. Or like, I'll pick it up next time. Yes. Your battery's getting really super low. Oh shit. Uh, can you like hook it up while you're doing it? Or no? I have an extra battery. Okay. Okay. Um, just... Yeah, so favorite date night, just go out, eat, get dressed up, spend quality time together. Yeah, um, for sure. My favorite, yeah. nothing super extra. No. about it all right so we are actually just going to end off the actual recording here 
uh, because my battery is about to die. I hope you guys enjoyed our little uh, podcast, live podcast here. Um, yeah, I hope it was interesting to watch. I think we had some good interactions back and forth. For sure. All right. Well, I will talk to you guys next time. And subscribe if you aren't already. Give this video a thumbs like. Thumbs like. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, 